Rescue workers were still scrambling on Thursday afternoon to search for survivors beneath a pedestrian bridge that collapsed onto a freeway west of Miami. The Miami Herald reported that several lanes of cars were waiting at a red light when the 950-ton walkway at Florida International University came crashing down on them. Several people were reportedly killed, but as of Thursday afternoon, first responders would not give a death toll. I can't tell you how many. Yeah. I can only tell you how many we've, we've transported so far, and that's eight. eight. I can assure you that our teams are still in rescue and search mode. They're still working the debris pile. We have search dogs in place. We have technical uh, listening devices and fiber optics. We're, dr we're drilling holes into the pile to try to locate any viable patients. So there are people there or you just don't know? We don't know at this okay. point. We are stu we're still in search and rescue mode. Paramedics treated several people at the scene. The bridge, which spans several lanes of traffic, connects the university with the city of Sweetwater and was opened to the public just days ago. It was designed in a manner that let it be fully constructed alongside the road. When the bridge was then swung into place, the head of the construction firm at the time praised the process. Well, this bridge is a very unique bridge, and, and it's the first in the United States that's the largest uh, pedestrian bridge that's been swung. It weighs about 1,000 tons. The National Transportation Safety Board said on Twitter that it was sending a team to investigate the collapse.